Uh, we love your book. Uh, it's called The House Hacking Strategy. Could you tell us what you're hoping people pick up from that book? So a few things, right? The one thing is, I mean, I would love for everyone just to be inspired and get motivated to actually start house hacking, right? The first, the first part of the book is kind of just shows you how powerful it can be and what, how it can change your life. And then the second part is really everything I know about house hacking. Like it's all, everything I know, you know, from, from, uh, from finding the deal to phoning the deal to marketing for leads to writing up, you know, having like roommate interaction within the house, all of that stuff is in there. And so I just really wanted to, um, yeah, just, just make, it, make it basically like, I want you to be able to read that book and then feel comfortable going ahead and doing your next house hack and maybe just looking back to refer to it, but it basically to be your only resource you need for house hacking. Awesome, awesome man. I, yeah, I mean, anyone out there who hasn't read the book absolutely has to read it. It's an amazing book. Uh, and it, you really do just spell out, you know, and, and make people feel comfortable doing it because, I mean, everyone we bring on the show and, and people we talk to that is house hacked, you know, it's just absolutely life changing, uh, as you know. And, uh, and, you know, more and more people are feeling comfortable doing this um, because how life changing it can be. Yeah, so for sure. I mean, I think everyone, everyone in the world should house hack. And personally, I don't even think you should own a home unless you house hack. Yeah. Like, if you want to live alone, why not just rent? Like that, that's kind of how I view it, you know? And it's really, really amazing. Uh, the Millennial Investor Podcast, I believe, ha had a statistic that said 90% of their guests um, started out in house hacking. You know, they just took a survey. And it's amazing, even the people that I know uh, as investors who are older or whatever, they may not call it house hacking. But when you dig deep into the story, because I love stories, like that's what you find. You know, like many, many of the pe local investors, you know, that aren't big time, you know, they're just in my area, you know, local investors. I'll just start talking to them about the story and they'll bring up the fact that they basically house hack. Yeah. I mean, honestly, almost I don't I don't actually don't think I know a real estate investor who didn't start house hacking. Yeah. Like I'm thinking I'm thinking right now, you know, some of the big guys like at bigger pockets, right? Brandon Turner started house hacking. David Green started house hacking. Um, Scott Trench started house hacking. Like all those guys started house hacking. I'm pretty sure Jay uh, actually I think Jay Scott might be the only one that went right into flipping, but he was a bit older when he started real estate investing. He was probably already he already had a lot of money to to to, you know, to put into real estate, but you know, just, I would say 90%, at least 90% of real estate investors start. Yeah. Well, what's cool is they're seasoned investors and some of them are still house hacking. That's right. Yeah. They still, I mean, they still are like David Green, yeah. Scott Trench and Brandon Turner are all house hacking as we speak. So right, yeah. just a little bit more of a luxurious way, but still even, um, uh, I'm not sure if your audience knows Ben Leibovich, but he's a big syndicator out in uh, Phoenix. He's house hacking too, but you know, he's just doing like the Airbnb thing you know, the luxurious house hack that I mentioned in the book where he just has his casita out back and Airbnb and that he's not fully covering his mortgage, but he's making a thousand bucks a month. 